Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel. This is Kareem Williams, and you are at Keeping It Real with Lefty, and this is part two of my experience going to the Philippines. I'm so excited to bring you guys this second edition, this part two, because part one did really well, and I know y'all want part two, so we're gonna do part two now. In this episode, I'm going to talk about the women in the Philippines, how I was treated, and things of that nature. I'm also going to talk about some places that I went to, and some of the things that I've seen in their culture that's different from American culture. So, sit back, relax, grab yourself some popcorn and a soda pop, and we're going to get into it. Y'all know how I do. I got to do some running around as always your boy got a lot of things he got to do so i'm gonna bring you with me and we're gonna get into this information we might even go back to the cheesecake factory too tell me what y'all think about that in the comment section on lane or you're not in charge and use every gift that was gave from god so you slave and hard don't, don't play none nah nah don't play welcome back and i want to start this off by saying shout out to darissa she was is a friend of mine her baby is my godchild. And she is the person that I visited when I went to the Philippines. You see, she was a virtual assistant of mine and helped me with Facebook marketing a while back. And we worked for about two years together. And then I was like, you know, I wanna take a trip out of the country. I just wanna see different things. I would see a lot of her videos and sometimes we would Skype at that time. And she would show me how they lived, where they lived at and stuff like that. And I was like, I wanted to experience it for myself. So with that being said, I linked up with her and I decided to go out there for a week. I went out there for about five days. I stayed in Manila, as I said before, it was wonderful. I stayed not too far from the airport this hotel was crazy because there were security guards, armed security guards at the gate. And when you came through, you know, it was like you were secure, secured. One time I tried to go to the store without Darissa and she had her friend with her. So Darissa and her friend came and stayed with me for the five days. She lives in another part of Manila. I forget what that part is called but she lives in another part. So she had to take a plane over to Manila from where she lived. So, crazy. I tried to go to the corner store because where we were, there were like little stores that sold like candy, soda pop, things of that nature. And I tried to go to the store by myself and the guard told me, you can't go by yourself. Either I'm going to walk you to the store or you have to go get the women that you came here with to take you to the store. And I guess it's because I was a foreigner and unfortunately they have a very, very high rate of pickpocketing. So that was a concern of the guards. Mind you, these guards, this, these guards were armed. Like what nobody coming into that hotel. Please believe it, believe it, please. And it was, it, it was nice to have that security. But yes, so Darissa and her friend picked me up from the airport in a, in a taxi. And then we went to the hotel, which they had already been there because I had booked it and I put her name on it so she can be able to go there before me, check everything out. With that said, I have to go pick up my medicine. That's what I'm doing right now. I am currently at the Cancer Survivors Park downtown Arizona. Really, really nice area. Just wanted to come down here and film. So I'm gonna go do that, give you guys some more B-roll, and then I'm gonna come back and tell you about how Darissa and their girlfriend, her girlfriend, treated me while I was there in Manila. 
Woods got it from the ground up the asphalt. We don't, we don't, we don't play none. Hit you up and spray, yeah. Leave a hater's brains on the dashboard. Dying young just to make it. Straight from the crater to the grave. Man, my streets are a crash course. We rebound like a backboard. Risky, risky years just to have more. And guys, we are back. We have landed at the Cheesecake Factory. Okay? And today, at the Cheesecake Factory, we're going to have the Cuban sandwich. Now, I haven't had a Cuban sandwich in about two years. And I'm excited to try this sandwich. I am super excited. Because last time I was here, the food was magnificent. The service was magnificent. It was just off the charts. They also have a skinny menu. For anybody that's on that skinny time, you can get served at the Cheesecake Factory. I don't know how women are not liking this place. I, I don't, that's neither here nor there. But let's talk about the women in the Philippines and how I was treated. Man, oh man, oh man. I was treated with so much love, respect. It was phenomenal. They ironed my clothes. They took my clothes out of my suitcase, hung it up in the hotel. They made sure I had breakfast every morning. They would go to the store in the pouring down rain if I needed some. They cooked. It was a, it was magnificent because and with all due respect to the women here in the States, that level of care that was given by Darissa and her girlfriend was just second to none. They really, really embody the art of being a woman and salivating in their women duties, if I could say that. Man, it was just so phenomenal. But before I get off of my soapbox, we are gonna come back, we are gonna grab some B-roll of this food, and then, um, yeah, we are gonna get into some more. I'm Marley in my rap, Ch Chad in my cup. I'm an underground king, just like pimps in your bun. Gotta get to the money, can't wait for it to come. 365 on the grind, gotta push every oh, guys. Without further ado, the food is here. We have the french fries. As you can see, then we have the Cuban sandwich. As you can see, just drop some meat on the table. Mm. I'm excited about this. Let me take a drink. Let's take our first bite. Magnificent. Magnificent. Fries. Fries is okay. This right here. This right here. This is what I came for. Mm. Mm. Stay focused, Kareem. Stay focused. At the end of the day, when it comes down to it, the women in the Philippines really cater to men. They take care of you. They make sure you're okay. They took me around. They took me to the Mall of Asia. That was phenomenal. They took me to the aquarium. That was phenomenal. We went to see the South Asia Sea. That was phenomenal. We just had a great time. We actually went to a club that was in Manila somewhere. I, I don't remember, but we went to a club. And then also, they took me to Jollibee. And that was my first time having a Jollibee. I haven't had it since. Haven't had it since, but it was very, very tasty when I did. At the end of the day, what I can say about traveling to the Philippines is it was a phenomenal experience. I'm glad I was able to have that experience. And it's an experience that will live with me for the rest of my life. Now, with that said, let me know in the comment section if y'all like these story times from me. 
I'm gonna get man I keep dropping food I'm gonna get back into finishing this and I'm gonna see you guys on the next video like comment subscribe click the bell turn on all notifications so when I drop a video you can be notified. Got it, got it, eat, eat. Don't, don't play none. Nine, nine, don't play none. Nine.